Bollywood has lost it completely. They are intellectually bankrupt. They don't seem to have any creativity left in the bag. It has been the habit of Bollywood to either copy from Hollywood or from the southern Indian movies or from somewhere else or mix two up and come up with a third one making it look as if it's new or rehash the same thing again and again. But what has happened with this new web series Farzi, you know, beats all kinds of imagination. No originality at all. They have carefully copied stuff from my book who painted my money white, but they've been careful to make it look as if it is their own original stuff. What was who painted my money white about? It was about fake currency. What is Farzi about? Fake currency. And, and you know, simple things. Fake currency arrives by ship in the book. Same thing in the web series. Well, action starts from Dubai in my book. Here it starts from Jordan. In my book, the ISI agent is a male. In this, the ISI agent is a female. I mean, I could see many such similarities. Somebody pointed it out to me when I was in India that this Farsi web series appears to have borrowed liberally from your book, Who Painted My Money White? So it has been airing for more than 12 hours now in US. So I had a chance to take a look at it. I mean, I looked at it quickly, mota mota. I haven't really looked at it in great detail, but what struck me was the amount of places where they have copied and, and try to make it look as if it is their original thought. I mean, Bollywood is not going to go far if they keep on trying to copy others' content, deny them their rightful share of um, intellectual property, and then they try to completely wipe them out of the script. Then why is Farzi trying to sneak in portions of my book without giving me acknowledgement or asking my permission? You know, how far are people are going to, you know, allow you to, you know, get away with this Bollywood? Have some shame. Can't you write some proper stuff? Has imagination completely left you? If then, if that is what is the case, then you don't deserve to be making movies. And what about Amazon Prime? See, this is released on Amazon Prime and the my book has exclusively sold for the longest time on Amazon Books. Now, Amazon Books will sell more books if this web series on Amazon Prime says that this web series is inspired from a book that is being sold by Amazon Books. In fact, the book is a number one bestseller on Amazon and yet they don't even mention this. I mean, I don't understand the business sense of what these people are doing. That is for Amazon. But let's get back to Bollywood. How long are you going to keep on fooling people like this? You have zero creativity. You shamelessly copy content. That Ram Setu was another one. And then there is something called uh, Space Moms that got copied and they made it called Mangalyan or something like that. That is a case that Radha Bharadwaj, my good friend, is fighting in India. So plagiarism, copying, blatant copying, thinking that, oh, the court systems are slow in India, therefore nothing is going to happen. Is that what is your argument? Pathetic. And you want us to pay for it? I mean, Amazon Prime needs to really reflect here. Why are they ruining their own business model? That's something for Amazon to figure out. My request to all my viewers, because you mean the world to me. If you tell me that there is nothing in this web series that is resembling a Who Painted My Money White book, then I'll take your word for it. But if you do find similarities, please write by way of comments or tweets, where all you are finding the similarities. And when you do that, do tag, and it features Shahid Kapoor and Vijay Setupati, who is, I think, an actor from down south. Um, just also, I think some other people, like tag them, tag the director, tag the producer, also tag Amazon. They need to know that this is a shameful conduct on their part when you keep on allowing you know, plagiarism to exist like this. Really, I mean, Amazon is a US company. I, I, I just can't believe that this, this stuff has been, that has been going on for 70 plus years is continuing to go on. I thought web series would put a stop to that because storyline would be the more important component of a web series and that that would bring people together to watch these things. So you make the decision, guys. 
let me know what you think thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar